Well, 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 if it isn't another TF2 video by your boy OTGT over the giant tree, Merkman2000. And yes, but it's, 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 it's a different type of TF2 video, and it always, it's always a different type of TF2 video on this channel. Damn straight, we're rocking with another creators.tf event, another creators.tf update. You know I love them. They do be making some very sick content for the game that, that just needs content and these boys are delivering so this time they've teamed up with potato mvm the, the boys behind some sick custom missions for the digital directive update very cool and look at this amazing little sfm post that they got made sick don't know why pyro's getting clotted in the head there i don't rate that but it does look fun some custom mvm is always good i've I, i'll say it once i'll say it again mvm should get updated i don't care about the heavy update update mvm okay so four days of, of reveals as with normal tf2 updates for this lovely trailer let's give it a watch okay oh we've got the japanese themed map the autumn themed map we've seen these maps before i've played on some oh i played on this one this one looks sick like an underwater thing yo holy shit like a german themed one as well nice and then a mercenary park style one. Okay, okay, I like this. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. This this engineer's cracked. Holy shit! <laughs> but this has, this field of view ain't it, Chief? Holy shit! I'm hoping to see we see some cool like unique MVM robots. I'm sure we will. Like that samurai one, that big boy right there. Jesus Christ! Potato do some mental stuff, so it's gonna be sick. Whatever they do. Oh shit! They've like their own little animation. That's sick, that is. Coming from the boys, Potato, MVM. They've made some great stuff. Madness versus machines and memes versus machines was sick. So we know that they're gonna make some amazing missions. Reboot Rush and Thermal Thunder on this map occur. Okay, I've never actually seen this map before, but it looks pretty funky, pretty futuristic. Um, Autumnal, Dynamic Disaster and Tin Can Termination. I really like this one. I love the fucking blimp. I love blimps. It's a shame that there's not a lot left in the world because they were fucking cool. Uh, bog Boogie? Boggy? It looks like a horror, maybe horror themed? Rotten Resurgence and Voidlings. Yeah, sounds pretty horror themed. 30 missions across 22 maps, that's insane. Uh, cliffside with Ashes, Ashes and Bionic Bits. Dusk with Chasing Daybreak, that looks quite nice. Estate, this looks very nice with Carburinated Clash and Marina Mayhem. Giza, I really like this map. With Tomb Adventure, I love Egypt themed maps. It's so sick. Gold Pit with Equal Opposites and Gilded Mainframe. Hana Hanami? This one's very sick. Tyndallberry just goes hard. A hideout, also very cool. Hoovy Dam. That's pretty interesting, actually. It'd be fun to see how that plays out. Um, Kelly. Production. Seabed. This one looks so sick. Uh, Sharp. Silent Sky. This one also looks very cool. Tena Tensai. Transmission. Winterbridge. Eurysi. Eurysi. Rust Valley, Swirl, yeah, so sick. I had to rush through those ones because I didn't realize there were 22, but yeah, very cool. They've got some new uh, mission indicators, pretty cool, pretty nice. I like this feature. And then this is the team behind it. What a bunch of epic gamers, honestly, so cool. With day two of the digital directive, as you can see, there's been a bit of an outfit change because I'm recording these as they come out and then stitching them together into one beautiful video and it's looking like pyro is actually shining this time you love to see it they got another beautiful little sfm poster here medic's got his little shield out you love to see it i really like how this is rendered it looks really nice t2 what are we uh, what are we getting today great man has been hard at work developing his robots to be even stronger than before we are mercenaries we don't cry mostly so what do you do when your partner has in the lab lights the flame when he wasn't told to you fight fire with fire, obviously as a pyro, and set your partner ablaze. To take down these robots, you need to resort to caveman tactics. Let's see what Greyman has been up to. Committing conflicts. What's going on here? 
Some missions feature brand new upgraded robots. Holy shit. Pyro. Unit have had flamethrowers upgraded with air tanks so they can reflect. What the heck? Snipers have been updated so the laser rifles reduce. Laser rifles are oh, they're hidden. Okay. Can called homing rockets. Shit, that's kinda it's kinda scary. And sentry buses that target plays instead of buildings. Jesus Christ, if we weren't gonna die enough already. So that's all they're revealing, but there's gonna be more. Repurposed hardware. Yo, this looks sick. Look at the red sentry buster, it looks so cool. I love that. And obviously NG chilling in the back, what a legend. However, by tinkering with the robots he designed for outer space combat, he was able to successfully recreate some of the robots that troubled the mercenaries to fight on our side. I'm, I'm going to enjoy that because in um, the pineapple MVM starched silliness, you get some friendly robots there as well, and that's pretty, pretty poggers. Supply drops. The first thing that will be delivered to you is modified upgrades. With a new batch of orders from the administrator, some of our dusty, rotting and old-fashioned technology needs a serious overhaul. So the engineer had a few drinks one night <laughs> and drafted together some blueprints and threw together some modified upgrades. Price changes, stronger weapons, or even removing old and dusty upgrades. Yo, I think I've seen some of these new ones in Pineapple MVM again. I made a video a while back talking about MVM upgrade and I mentioned that we need some different and new upgrades. So I'm not taking, I'm not saying they took this from me because I'm pretty sure thousands of people have had this idea. But it's good to see that they're um, doing these sort of things, because it's, it's what I like to see personally. Some missions will play will feature strict class limits. Each mission requires different wants or needs, so each shipment is unique to each mission. You can expect some changes to see the default stats of players such as negating fall damage, disabling flamethrower pushback and ammo, and our health regeneration. Now I don't like that they've said disabling flamethrower pushback because upgrading Air, air blast strength is, is my favorite thing to do in MVM when I play Pyro. I just like pushing robots around like it's nothing. So I'm not happy to see that. Each mission has different and unique changes. Whether it's the flamethrower, the gunslinger, or a sniper rifle, most weapons should be viable. Should have a viable purpose for killing robots after his tweaking work. I mean, hey, why make them if we don't want to shoot them in the first place? That is big facts. So I'm interested to see what they're gonna do with all these weapons, and I hope they're not going to pyro too hard, because that'd be pretty sad for me. But yeah, so augmentations, I'm, I'm not sure what the, well, I'm, I've got a good idea of what the rest entail, but I'm not sure when they'll be released. But as they're released, I'm going to record a little segment and drop them all together in one nice little video for you. So yeah, day one and day two completed. Well, hello there, and welcome back to another Digital Directive Day update thing. Now, this SFM poster is very nice, as you can see. There's some hints as to what we're getting. An undeniable uh, how, how wealth hat, I don't know what it's called. It's just the undeniable sign of respect and wealth or something. New Zealandium or silvery weapons and uh, a metal bills cap by the looks of things. Now if you're going to go into battle and fight thousands upon thousands of robots, you'll have to look good doing it. That's why we're introducing eight new cosmetics to fur up your fighting style, of course. I'm liking what we've got here. We've got a rusty receiver, which I really like, as the handyman's handle is my main hat, so to speak, so I'm a big fan of that. Then we've got the Hypno Helmet, I think that's a pretty cool design. Bolted Beret, very nice. Steeler's Visor, Delta Node, Lightning Strike, Hat of Untangled Wires and Rust. I, I do like the design of that one, that was very cool. And then the Vroom Vroom, which I also like the, the, the name and the look of. So all in all, some very cool hats coming our way. Medals of Honor, these actually look really cool. Got like, uh, what's this, like a motherboard and like a, a f graphics card, I want to say. Yeah, it's got IO, so probably graphics card and a motherboard or something. You'll receive a special, a special medal for all your hard work. For the low cost of your arms, legs and time you'll never get back. Finishing the Digital Directive campaign will earn you the Mancoin Miner Medal. Oh, I like that. It's like a, yeah, it's a GPU for mining. Okay, very cool. This product does unfortunately not generate actual man coins. If it could, we'd be swimming like ducks in a safe full of coins. Very nice. New Zealand. I like the look of this. Deep down in the caverns of the sunken country of New Zealand lies a mysterious material that humanity once threw out like a stinky orphan for being useless in the 1960s. Scientists discovered a questionable attribute of this element, dubbed New Zealand. When put in the same solution as Australium, the protons from each element are ripped apart, creating a vigorous explosion. Embedding the power of New Zealand within a weapon will transform your enemies into shiny silver statues. Very nice. I do like New Zealand. I wish it was an official thing in the game. Should we get an MV update? We could see it. We probably won't. We'll probably see like Australian Mark 2 or something. But New Zealand's cool. 
and uh, yeah, I'm hope I uh, hopefully I can get a New Zealand weapon. Fingers crossed. Now day four is probably going to be the launch of the event, so that's going to be a separate video in itself. So if you have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe down below, all that jazz, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.